stay back. Uh, hold on. You're a, a human. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen another one of you in months. <laughs> Wait. Uh, sorry for pinching you, but I just had to make sure you were real. Wow. I can't believe this is really happening. Uh, huh? Where are you? Um, look around. You're in the back rooms. Obviously. Don't act like you've never heard of it before. Of course this place is real. I used to nerd out about it all the time. It's how I got myself into this mess. Anyway, don't move. I'm just gonna mark exactly where you fell. There. Okay, you can get up now. Are you alright? You looked like you collided pretty hard with the floor. Alright, if you say so. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot. If we're going to be working together, I guess you should probably know what I look like. I keep this mask on because it makes me harder to detect. The monsters. You... you do know there are monsters, right? Oh gosh, you really haven't been following, have you? Well, on each level, there are different monsters. Luckily for us, there aren't too many around here, but there are enough. Anyway, it makes it a lot harder for them to sense where I am, and I've noticed that their vision isn't very good, so if I have this on, it can help me blend in more easily. Anyway, uh, here's my face, I guess. What? What is it? Why is your face getting all red? You're not about to explode or something, right? N no Well then, what is it? I'm your... waifu? W what is that? Oh... <laughs> you're, you're kidding, right? You're not? Well, I never used to believe in alternate universes, but the way you're talking right now, maybe there are. I know the back rooms is like a glitch in the system, so maybe there can be people from all over that come here. Well, just so you know, I'm normal, just like you. You don't have to get all flustered around me, okay? Follow me. I've built a little home of sorts, and it's not too far from here. Hmm? Oh, well, I walk around here at least twice a day, looking for anyone new, such as yourself, supplies, yeah, sometimes random supplies or, or food just glitches in here randomly. It usually happens frequently enough, considering, you know, I'm still alive, but I never know when it's going to be there. Never know what time, what day. So I always have to be on the lookout if I want to stay alive. I know where to find some water and... The hub isn't too far from here either. It's like this place that connects to all the different levels, you know? Anyway, I just always have to stay alert so I don't die, you know? Anyway, uh, just give me a second. Love. Oh, sorry. 
Um, well, I know I told you that we're not too far away from my little camp area, but as you can tell, all of these hallways look the same. It's really easy to get lost. But I made up a little tune in my head so that way I remember which way to turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the hub leads to all the different levels and I can go and come as I please. I'd rather not go to the higher levels though, that's where most of the monsters reside. Oh, then it's really easy to get lost when you're running away from them. I would know. I was lost for about two weeks. It was not fun. But, um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I walk around here pretty frequently, looking for obviously new people and a way to get out of here. Not too long ago, I, I actually had a friend in here. She was so nice, but she didn't make it. She wasn't fast enough to get away. Anyway, um, I've been trying to find a way to see if I can somehow reverse the glitch, you know? How if there's like a wall that's darker than the other or just something. I marked where she fell when she first arrived. She fell from the ceiling, just like you, but I can't reach the ceiling, so I've tried piling things up, but it never works. It can never stay up long enough for me to even do anything. I never saw anyone when I came here, but ever since, I've only seen her and a couple of random objects fall in every now and then. But now that I have you, maybe you can hoist me up on your shoulders and I'll be able to do it. As long as we're touching, if I glitch back to reality, you should too. Only thing is, I don't know which reality we would glitch back to. But that's a problem for another day. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't even ask your name. I see. Well, it's nice to meet you. All right, and we're here. <laughs> oh, you like it, huh? Thanks. Uh, yeah, this is my home away from home. <sighs> yeah, I I'm fine. I guess I just kind of miss my family. But at least I have someone someone besides her. Anyway, um, <clears throat> don't mind me. <laughs> she was just my best friend, you know? I met her about a month after I first came here. We did everything together, and she even saved my life. Without her, I wouldn't even be here right now. And I couldn't even do the same for her. Everybody thinks that the back rooms aren't real, but here we are. Sorry, it's just been a long time since I've spoken to someone. Don't mind my rambling. Um, would you like anything to eat? Are, are you hungry or... Oh, you're good? Wait, what, what's wrong? Did I say something? No? Oh. You just want to get back home too, huh? Yeah. The first couple weeks definitely are tough, but 
I guess I've just gotten used to it, you know. Also, I just want to let you know. If I tell you to do something or go a certain way, just listen to me, okay? Don't ask why. Sometimes those moments can be the difference between living and, well, not living. Got it? Good boy. What? What? It, do people not say that where you're from, or? Oh. I see. <laughs> well, I'll keep that in mind. You're pretty cute, you know? <laughs> I'm not really mad that I'm your waifu. <laughs> And before we go to sleep, I should probably teach you some things. You seem to be pretty new to all of this, so I'll just explain some of the basics to you, alright? <laughs> We've got nothing but time here. <laughs>